Hi, good morning and welcome back to Smithy's over 100 golf courses in a year. Uh, today I'm on the five countries in five days tour. So I was in Scotland yesterday, ferry over to Belfast, stayed in Bangor last night. And uh, just come down the road, this is course number 163 this year, this cuts down castle. First time ever in Northern, playing in Northern Ireland. Uh, it's a wee bit cold, I'm here very early, nobody's here at all. I would have booked online but I'll get the James Braid rate because it's a James Braid course, there's nobody here so I'm going to have to pay when I get back. So let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 163 of 2022. It's Kiltstown Castle Golf Club on the tee. The man playing for the first time in Northern Ireland. And it's also day two of the five countries in five days tour. Day two, Northern Ireland from Kirkintilloch in Scotland. Smithy! Alright, this is a weird start here at Kirkstown Castle Golf Club. I haven't got a scorecard. I'll try to look it up online to see what the first is. The first is a par 5, that's all I know, so I've no idea how far it is. It looks as if it's going down to the right hand side. That's a look in at the first green at the par 5. That's the second hole at cuts down. Right, it's at 387 yards. A straight par 4, bunker right, bunker left. Then it rises up, there's a sort of tower thing in the... Right up the top, the green's up the top of the hill there. Uh, this is where it gets difficult at the second hole. I'm um, short in two. So I've got up the hill to play. No idea where the green is. I'll just give it a go. Here's a crack of the hole, the third. Elevated T, 299 yards. There's a ridge down the bottom, uh, a couple of bunkers, and there's a few just in, one in front of the green, a couple to the side. A coast in the background. So the second have just come up. We look round at the second green there. Back to the hole. That's the first day par three, is the fourth hole, 142 yards. That cuts down castle. Surrounded by bunkers, raised green, a wee bit of a runoff. Oh, I so said just walking up to the fourth green, par three. Just seeing how far away we are. There's a smithy ball. Right on the dance floor there. Oh that's about five feet away for the birdie. And there's the result of the birdie putt. A two at the fourth, get in. That's the fifth hole at Kirsten Castle. It's a par four at 387 yards. It's called around the bend. Uh, it's a wee bit strange. There's a marker post in the rough. So it's got a dog leg to the right, but that's the other fairway out to the right. So I'm going to aim down to the left here. See where that fairway is. I've got a guy playing in front of me away up my distance, so I can see where the green is. Yeah, I think there was marker posts, or just a distance. Marker on the next hole. Yeah, then it left and then I just avoided a big bunker and this is a view from the, the fairway up to the hole. That's the sixth hole, 410 yards, par 4. Straight down, a uh, proper links course here. Just waiting for the dew to come off the grass. So out early this morning. Ah, just looking down at the sixth green. It's actually quite hard to spot your balls, a low sun out there. We're now at the 7th tee at Kirsten Castle. Shorter par 4, 302 yards, but we're into the wind. Straight down. That's a look in towards the, the 7th. Just went the green keeper doing his stuff on the, the green there. So it's tucked away into the right, I couldn't see that from off the tee. Oh, this is what you call an uphill par 3. At the 8th hole, 138 yards. Bunker right, bunker left. Can't see the green. Normally I'd be complaining, but it's an absolute cracker of a hole. I uh, just come to the end of the first half in the ninth hole. 374 yards, what a hole. Elevated T. I think that's the green just in front of the clubhouse there. To the right hand side of the clubhouse. Look at the view. Right on the coast. Oh, fantastic. That's the tenth hole. On the back nine now, 450 yards, par five. Uh, straight to start off with, out of bounds on the left. And then it's going to dog leg slightly to the left. I think it's going to go up the hill as well. That big hill there where the eighth green is. I think it's called the Mott 
or the Motte, whatever, I'm not quite sure, M-O-T-T-E. Hey, we're down the fairway in the 10th, and just looking up to the pin, I've played two, oh, I've still got a long way to go, we're going to reach that in three, as in the rough, well, that's the, the pin away up on top of the hill there. 11th hole, uh, par 3, 117 yards, so uh, not too far. Bunker left, bunker right, probably run off at the back of the green. Let's come round the back end of the course now. This is the 12th at Castle, 420 yards. You're on the elevated T, down into the dip, and then it's rising up. You get the tower at the back of the, the green there. I think that's a glimpse, that must be the castle that the course is named after. That's the view back down the, the 12th. Cracking hole. I guess you a good panorama right round the course. Clubhouse over there. Uh, looks like the bay. And out to the IDC over there. And back down. 13th hole, again from an elevated T, down the fairway, 420 yards, so sort of rising up again, a couple of bunkers sitting be about 30 yards before the green there. I oh, know this place just oozes quality, absolutely brilliant. 14th hole, uh, Catstown Castle, 180 yards, par 3, bunker on the right hand side there, bunker to the left. Narrow entrance into green if you can't fly it over, but it's a bit too long for me. This is a uh, three wood for me. And a look down the 15th at Catstown Castle. Par 4, 343 yards. Three bridge there with stream, about 60 yards down. And on the fairway, I can't see where the pin is. I'm hoping it doesn't go way up that hill to the right, because that's uh, a fair distance away, so that should be longer than 343. Three. I can see the green now at the 15th. Up the hill to the green, it's like a raised green platform. Bunker to the right. Oh, here's the 16th. 154 yards, par 3. We've got another uphill, par 3. Goodness me, two in the one course. Bunker to the right at the front, bunker to the left at the front. So there's a couple of mounds or hills on the course, and quite a few of the holes play up there, and you get the elevated tees as well playing off them. Works for me. 17th hole at Kirsten Castle, 420 yards. Uh, there's road running down the left hand side, so you play out from the road to the right hand side. And then it's gone back in, how she's at the back. Alright, so we're going to be finishing with a par 5, just as we started at Kirsten Castle. 504 yards. That's a wee bendy one. So I'm running alongside the first there, so I have to be careful as the women's comp on that I don't. Uh, Head it out to the left. I'm just looking in at the par 5 18th. Fair number of bunkers here. Clubhouse over to the left. First tee. It's not a wide fairway. The fairway's kind of shared with between the first and the 18th. Well, that's me just finished on 18 at Kirsten Castle. Wow. God, I didn't expect it to be as good as this. I, it's like a proper championship links course, this. Oh, it's... The greens, the greens are as good as any I've ever played on. Oh, it's just a fantastic course all round. Really top quality. The, the standard is just impeccable. It's absolutely brilliant course. Flat east in the main, but you've actually got a couple of big mounds of hills where quite a few holes you're playing uphill to, to them. And that gives you the benefit of elevated tees back down. So you've got a few elevation changes. Oh, the course is just astounding. Uh, the only thing is it's not quite at the sea, it's across the road from the sea. So you're just inland the other side of the road. Uh, you get views right over. It's absolutely terrific. As I say, though, uh, I can't give it anything else than tennis. Just, oh, God. What a start to the first golf course I played in Northern Ireland. And uh, a birdie, I got a birdie in the fourth. So an early birdie after four holes in Northern Ireland, that would do me. Uh, I don't know what price, the normal price here is, uh, is 52 quid, uh, but they have uh, twilight rates or off-peak rates, it looks like 30 quid. This is a James Braid course, so I'm a member of James Braid course in London Dodwell, so I'm just going to go in and see what the see what the price is, because I was away out early doors before anybody was here this morning. 
so as it was a reserve for a women's comp later on. So well, that's the first course in Northern Ireland done, what a course. Let's go and see where I'm going next. That's uh, day two of the five countries in five days tour. Right, catch you later.